Hey, hi. So in this video, we are going to have a look at how cucumber tags behave with scenario outlines and examples. Okay, so for the purpose of this video, I will be using the example that I used in my last video, wherein we were talking about scenario outlines. Okay, so just a little bit of recap. Scenario outline is a way of implementing data-driven testing with cucumber, right? And and in my script, I have a simple login scenario, right? Wherein I'm taking the username and password and I'm just printing them out, printing them out in my steps file. And along with this, I am printing the name of the scenarios and the tags associated with each and every scenario. Right. So with the current implementation, wherein I have my scenario outline tagged as data driven, if I run this particular thing, every example will run right and as we have seen tags are inherited right so if i tag feature this would be inherited in scenario outline so when i'm tagging a particular scenario outline it would be inherited by all the examples so it would be inherited by all the scenarios that would be created with this scenario outline right so let's just run that once and see it in action okay so this time in order to run it let's use um command line and maven okay okay so i will go and open my command prompt and i have already navigated to my project folder and so over here i'll just give in the maven command mvn test minus capital d cucumber dot filter sorry dot filter f i l t e r dot tag tag or tags was it singular or plural let's try with tags first equal to and the tag that i want i'll just go ahead and copy that control c and over here i'll just right click to paste so and enter okay so my test case is running let's have a look at what output it gives us cool so I can see over here one, two, three, four, four scenarios ran. That is in accordance with my examples. I've got four examples. So four scenario ran. And what was the output that we got? And we got the name of the scenario and the tag associated with it. So every scenario has got at the rate data driven tag associated. So the tag that I gave to my scenario outline was inherited by all the examples. Now this was what we generally do, but uh, as an exception, we can always have certain situations wherein we do not want to run all these examples, right? Let's say we have a particular bug due to which example three and four always gives us a failure and it is a known bug. So we do not want to execute this or it could be that these are the only two cases uh, that needs to be executed because of a bug fix and we are just trying to retest right so in those cases what can we do so cucumber actually does not allow us to tag individual row but we can tag the examples block we can use that to actually divide this particular example block to two separate example blocks or multiple example blocks and tag each individual example block right and depending on what we have tagged our execution will run accordingly so let's say i divide this particular examples block into two so i will just go ahead and go over here examples right and since i've divided this into two i would also have to provide the heading again user and rather just copy this and see Control V. Cool. Now I can tag any one of them or I can tag both of them as of one. So I will tag the second example block as at the rate bug. So now let's go back to our command line and execute just at the rate bug and see what happens. Okay, so I'm at my command line. I'll just do a clear screen CLS. 
right now let's run our script so again i will do mvn test minus capital d number dot filter dot tags equal to and this time i'll just write at the rate bug and press enter okay so two scenarios ran and i can see that both have got at the rate data driven tag plus at the rate bug tag right so i can conclude that this data driven was inherited by both the examples again so now what do I, what would i have to do to execute everything but the bug tag right so i want to execute these examples but i do not want to execute these two examples okay so for that we can use uh, actually the not combination of tags right so we can go and instead of doing at the rate bug over here i will do i want to run my at the rate data driven data driven and not my bug tag okay so this is the new syntax for running multiple tags or running or playing around with tags you can have a look into them uh, at cucumbers docs they've got very good examples and explanations for this right so let's just run this so i can see two scenarios ran wherein i have got data driven tag in both but no add rate bug tag right so that was what i was aiming to do okay so once again if you want to play around with tags and know what how to combine different tags i would recommend that you look go ahead and look into cucumber documentations right uh, i'll provide a link to that in the description or you can just go ahead and search for cucumber doc okay uh, and if you like if you just want to get rid of this like there is the bug has been fixed and it is normal executions what you would have to do is you would have to delete this part out from your feature file and this would be back to your original condition okay and if we run this again like say with just data driven i will get all my scenarios executed as it was getting executed earlier right so yeah that was all for this particular video thanks for watching and hope you have a great day